It's been a rough work day The boss is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh, beer and sunshine Yeah, beer and sunshine Yay! We're back! Oh, wow! We're back with another fun episode of Beer and Sunshine We are episode. paying this audience way too much I, Yeah it's all the Krispy Kreme donuts from Nerd Talk. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I suppose. They're high on sugar now. Yes, they are high on sugar. I wish I was high on sugar. <laughs> Very tired today. But uh, it's uh, episode 19. Yes. We've got some awesome guests uh, again. Once again, we have fantastic guests. Big Storm Brewing. Yeah. Big Storm Brewing is here. Yay! Did I say it right? Brewing or brewing? Either way, man. Yeah. Whatever yeah. works. We're making beer. These fine gentlemen, we've got uh, Steve and, and Mike. You, you're supposed to say Big Storm blew in. Big storm blew in. Big storm blew in. Uh, I have not heard that one. Okay, that's a new pull one. My, pull Mike's way. finger. Let's see what happens. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not Let's be do a that. Big storm storm yeah. <laughs> <No. laughs> So what did you get up to this past week, Thomas? Uh, not too much. Not too much. Not too much. Um, little work. Little, little exercise. Little work. Little play. Little, little, little play. Yes. Yep. I slept under the stars last night. Nice. How romantic. <laughs> Fell asleep in a blanket. It's pretty good. So I was telling you guys before is watching uh, two cats fight over me, I think, possibly, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, not, not too much, not too much. Drank a little beer. Nice. You know? Nice, nice. I was out. You? I was out in a boot. Uh, out you're in a, a boot. You're, you're in a boat? Yeah. I was. And I actually went to the ale house and had a good conversation with Cindy and Katie. Which ale house? Which? Uh, New England ale house. <laughs> oh, okay. So anyway, they gave me these coupons, so I'm going to do the Oprah Winfrey free thing. Look under your seats, folks. <laughs> you get a card, and you get a card, and you get a card. Everybody gets a card. Yeah. Five dollar ale bucks. A card or a card? No, not a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> you have to put the D on the end of that. <laughs> card. That's what she said? <laughs> yeah. And where, where is this place exactly? This place <laughs> is in Palm Harbor. Their burgers are like so amazing. They really? put like the caramelized and crust, crusted onions yeah. on the top, and and they have like some beer on on tap. And the waitresses are really nice. But yeah, she gave me these, and she said, Dro you know, cool. cool. Let let like our it. audience have some and hand them out and go there. It says I beer and burgers. sunshine on the back, so Thank they'll you. know. Yeah, that's it awesome. Says beer and sunshine on the back. It says beer and sunshine on the back. No way. Yes way. Beer and <laughs> sunshine on Did the back. Did you write that on there? Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> Just so they know who so sent they them. made special cards for us. No. no. No? So beer on tap, of course. We still have some of our Marker 48, Mo Say It. Which is what I'm drinking. We delicious. have some Dunedin House of Beer. Hi, chicken. <laughs> Dunedin House of Beer uh, Mango Hefeweizen. Yesterday was National IPA Day. I had some IPAs. I feel like every over. other week it's, it's, it's National IPA Day. Today right? is International Beer Day, and not a coincidence, but tomorrow is International Hangover Day, so... Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. every day is National Beer Day for me, so... Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. Awesome. Mm. Um, <clears throat> what are we going to... What's our game today? Uh, you're, oh. you're... So, my good friend Steve, I was over to um, Big Storm with Nicole, who's in our audience, Yeah, yeah. dropping off some of our Beer and Sunshine coasters. So, Steve came up with a cool game <laughs> where... You put the coaster on top of the beer, mm -hmm. and then flick it towards your opponent. And if you knock it off, they have to drink. They have to drink. And if Looks you very tricky. yeah, and if you don't knock it off, then you have to drink. So it's just like, let's see if I can do this for distance. Yeah, <laughs> it's all about the angle. Oh, uh -huh. well, I don't nope. have one on there. There you go. Okay, go ahead. All right. Oh, oh. see, so oh, what chicken's getting into oh. it. Oh, no, see, it's hard. It's not so, easy. So we'll pick, you know, so you get to go twice. So you try and knock, we'll go down the try line. So you try and knock right. mine off, yet. Yeah. Oh, you get two tries. Try again. That was my second try. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. See? <laughs> then you have to drink. You said, you said land on the coaster, too, right? Horrible counter. Yeah. Or, or it can land you, on you the coaster. Like, yeah. You can go to the safe play, I imagine. You, you can like flip, flip it up, it. too, yeah. Right? yeah. So you have to drink. All right. Kathy says we love Big Storm. 
Thanks, Kathy. Yay. Thank you. So now, pretty now awesome. I get to try and, and knock his and you get, So, uh, Mike, so Listen, you... Listen, I'm getting right down and into Mike, this. Mike, you, yeah. you started Big Storm, yes. right? Yes. You started it. Yeah. And when, yeah. when, so how, how long has Big Storm been around? How, when did you start Big Storm? Five years now. Five oh, years now. Yeah, started in 2012. It. And you guys, you guys get a lot of respect in the, the Tampa Bay here. You guys are kind of a big name, kind yeah, of a big deal. it took deal, some time. Right? took some time. Uh, you know, at, at the beginning, it was... Uh, you know, we were the first ones here in Pasco County. Mm -hmm. So uh, when we started, there was cows on 54. Um, now the consumers really progressed and really pushed, and there's a lot of other things going on in Pasco that are really awesome. So, um, yeah, you know, we've been kind of trucking since day one and kind of, you know, one so day I at take a time. it you were probably so. a home brewer? I was not. No. <laughs> I was not. Yeah, you know, just, it's just funny. A, just an entrepreneur, just a guy who likes to drink No, 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 no. So, um, most most of the the homebrew. I honestly I homebrewed like twice and both times it tastes like shit. So <laughs> um, really I I learned commercially. So I, I did an internship at Dunedin Brewery. I was there for uh, about three years, mm -hmm. um, on and off, kind of part time ish. And uh, after that is when I spun off and, and started Big Storm. Nice. Cool. So, and yeah. then your your head brewer. Uh, can you get his name right? Is it Josh? Joel. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Joel. <laughs> Joel's a good guy. We yeah. had we had a, a brief conversation <clears throat> at your place uh, here in Pasco, where that's that's your home base, yes. right? That's where yeah. you're at. Yeah, yeah. Billy and I were there. It was, it was a while ago. You guys had some sort of a it was a, a Havana a after Havana after yeah. midnight. Yeah, that oh, coffee. Cool. Yeah. Like yeah, coffee porter. Yeah. Coffee porter. Yeah. Oh gosh, it was yeah. delicious. With King State. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me how I remember all this stuff. Like yeah, that's pretty had, good. Yeah, that's like, that's like drunken. <laughs> and his name was Nate. Yep. We had a re wow. we had a really fun conversation. Okay. We just it, the video didn't come out so hot, so I don't know. So it's not not really around. I don't think. But no. um, in the archives, it's in the good archives. Times. Good, great, really good guy, and, and yeah. uh, he showed us around. This chicken man, let us taste some stuff. Got <laughs> <laughs> so, my beer, man. <laughs> so so Tommy, um, the uh, our good friends at Beer Vats and Begone mm -hmm. have been hard at work again. Really, they've actually come out with. Uh, another product and if they want to run that commercial what is the product the product oh you'll just have to wait to see what oh, they came I up know with about this one hey there billy what are you doing are you trying to get yourself cleaned up for the day oh are you trying to get rid of your beard hair by pulling it out one by one with tweezers that can be time consuming and painful don't you have anything bigger <laughs> oh my gosh billy yeah the knife is definitely bigger but not safer Listen, we have a way that you can get yourself ready for the day without hurting yourself. Yes, from the makers of Dog Bowl and Hose and Tongs and Mug, Beer Vats and Be Gone now brings you this new invention, Razor. That's right, with Razor, you can get yourself ready for the day by shaving away that unwanted facial hair. But be careful, it still has blades and is sharp. So how'd you make out there, Billy? Not so well, right? Well, you'll get the hang of it. Practice makes perfect. Available at all pet stores, gas stations, homeless shelters, and fine dining restaurants. No brewers were harmed in the making of this commercial. Oh. They're geniuses. They've done it again. <laughs> They've done what, it again. What a, what a fabulous invention. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I had I wish I had one of those. No, no, no. You need you need the, the beard. And it's now funny. Keep like, face covered up. When uh, Mike came, I'm so used to having our guests. Everybody has a beard. Have you ever had? A beard? Oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Of course, I, I he have. owns a brewery. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah. I, I had it at one point. I've been through many iterations. Um, I think uh, in the first year, I had a goatee probably about down to here, <laughs> and uh, hair down halfway in my back, a long it's, ponytail. It's free. It's free. So, uh, hair, 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 hair halfway down your back or yeah. hair on your back? No, no, not <laughs> hair on my back. I mean now. I was a little bit younger then, but uh, no, it's halfway down my back. That ponytail and everything. Nice. So, so. we had um, um, Eric said he loves the Oktoberfest, so. Cool. I had I tried some of that last night. It is pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm dying to try some. It is. It's yeah, good. Yeah, we brought we brought we were, some. So Steve was gonna bring six. I'm like, eh, bring twelve. Bring twelve. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So you know, when so, in doubt. So, yeah. why don't we so, so maybe chicken can go and get some of that out of the out of the yeah. keezer in the back out of the there. keezer. All right. I love that chicken. Uh, a little fired up tonight. <laughs> a little gun <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my 
they're gosh. putting in his chicken feed. I have no idea what they're putting in his chicken feed. So um, you said you don't have a background in brewing. You did do some stuff at, at Dunedin. Yeah, yeah. So that that's really, um, I, I, you know, I trained on a system. You know, I was uh, I was just trained in you know commercial <laughs> brewing and technical brewing. And uh, when I left Dunedin and we we're trying to make some beer to kind of promo what Big Storm was going to be. Uh, then I slapped together a little bit of a homebrew system and, and uh, used my commercial experience and, and tried to produce some stuff. So uh, that stuff was drinkable. I'm talking about the stuff previous. Right. So, uh, yeah, that worked. But what, are your, <laughs> what are your staple beers? What are the ones that you always have that you, that you're, you guys are really known for? Oh, at the brewery? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Wavemaker. Ah, thank you, that's our That's our flagship, Amber mm-hmm. Ale. We, that was the first beer we ever brewed. So... Um, there we go. Look, there's IPA. a picture of your. Oh, there you that's go. A, that's an old so, list. Let's just so read off the list. That's, that's these, a, that's all, a, these are all the same, right? Yes. Yeah, those, those are, are all October So, how right many there. how many do you oh, have nice. on tap Thank at any you. given time? Thank you. Uh, Twenty one total. And how many are? Do you have any like guest taps, or are they all? They're yours? all they're all ours. Um, so the Pasco location, we've always referred to it as R and D. Uh, so that's where we really get to have fun and mm-hmm. really try the new stuff. Uh, we're pumping out a lot of beer. So we really don't have room for guest taps. So we're just constantly pumping out new ideas. We throw yeah. up on the board, and we l- kind of let the public decide if they like it or don't like it, and that determines what we're going to do with it after that. No, oh, that's. I mean, I yeah, we used to do guest taps. We did yeah. in the old place, but now with the two facilities, I mean, we have beers waiting in line. Right, I, you have enough that you can keep. Yeah, we all get of like them. God. This, oh, yeah. this happened to us last yeah. month, and we're just sitting there Delicious. and. Uh, we run out of a beer, and we're like, what do we put on next? And it's like, well, we got six other yeah, beers. What do you want next? Beers. So, so what, exactly um, what kind of beer is this? Like, uh, so Oktoberfest is a German Marzen. Uh, so, Mersen. Uh, Mersen, sorry. <laughs> no, you can say Marzen. <laughs> it's America. Yeah, yeah this is America. That, that we classic, can do that. Uh, that classic German beer. Yeah. We have, flavor, to, say, you know? we have to say hi to your friend, Mer? 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 Oh, Anne Marie. Anne Marie, yes. Yeah. Anne Marie. Yes, she said What's hi. What's up, Anne Marie? How are you doing? <laughs> this one's so, for you. So, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to discuss this beer and some more beer and talk some more with Steve and Mike from Big Storm. Let's do it. Cool. Be right back. Love it. Good. Yay! Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had, All these beers are going down pretty I easily. had this last night. This is, yeah. Yeah, so that so that this is the Oktoberfest. That is a, a new IPA that these guys just launched. Twisted Palms. And it's Yummy. called Twisted, Twisted Palms. Palms. Mm-hmm. Six point seven. It's delicious. For, For IPA good. day yesterday. Yep. <clears throat> Come a tap room exclusive. Right? Yeah, tap room exclusive. Uh, it's actually a collaboration that we did um, with our new sister brewery, uh, Fat Point in Punta Gorda. Oh really? So yeah, they were involved in the process how, how of making this beer. How is that a sister brewery? What do you mean? Is that? So. Uh, <laughs> do you, do you, uh, is that you own it? Yeah. Or are you partners? Or are you partners? <laughs> it's very hard to describe this. Um, let's let's say that we are partnered with them. Okay. So um, basically, long and short story, I'm, we've known them for a while, and um, down in Punta Gora, and they were hitting a spot of trouble, and basically they were getting really close. They even announced on Facebook they were going to be closing their doors. Oh, really? So we're like, hold on a second, jump <clears> on the next plane, and we're down there, and uh, we're like, let's let's try and make this work. And um, you know, we we talked about it. it took some time, you know, all the business stuff and background and everything, but. Um, yeah, now they're. Uh, I get, we like to call it it's part of the family. Okay. Um, and what what made you do so, that? How did what what was the relationship you had with those guys that you just yeah. wanted to go save them? Did you, your buddies or? Um. So not. I mean, not any closer than anybody else in Florida that mm-hmm. I know. But um, you know, it's a really it's a really fun brand. They're they're really ingrained in their community, and for us, community is a very important aspect of this. Yeah. You know, I. Yeah. I I feel very strongly in the community we live in here in Pasco. That's why we opened it here. And, mm-hmm. and it, it reminded me a lot of our situation in their community where they're the only brewery down there. I mean, that place shuts the doors. You know, that whole community is losing craft beer, basically. Why were they, so. like, going under? Or what was, and what's the plan to save them? How, how yeah, so, um, you know, basically... You know, now we're getting the business side of it. This is kind of fun for me. Uh, sure. You know, we, we, well, you know I, talking, I, talking beer all day is a lot of fun, but, you know, my... See, with us being around for five years now, I'm, my passion is beer first and foremost. I mean, it's got to be, it's got to be spot on, you know. But mm-hmm. uh, now getting into this fun stuff, like talking about uh, Fat Point, mm-hmm. um, basically. So the long and short of it is, they they were focused on distribution, and um, you know they, they brought in a lot of tanks. They spent a lot of money on on, on doing stuff, shooting shooting across the state. But distribution in Florida is really shrinking. You know, even distributors are not bringing on brands anymore. So. 
you know, when you have a business model that's all about, you know, shooting as much beer as you possibly can across the state, and then all of a sudden it's kind of <coughs> like, you know, doors get slammed on you, and it just doesn't How can really meet it. Distribution be shrinking if the, the, the craft beer industry is booming. That's and a great new question. breweries are popping up all the time. How can distribution? Wow! Be? Great question. Nice. It's, it's an obvious <laughs> question. <laughs> it's an obvious <laughs> question. Yeah. So when um, no, I, I love this. Keep asking these. So there's only so much shelf space everywhere, mm. and uh, you know, uh, breweries are going to continue to open, and that's fine. You know, I think I think more more than not, breweries are kind of considered almost pub pub culture now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, it's very community driven, like I just said. So. Um, a lot of successful small places are going to pop up, and you know we have we have a good handful uh, here in Pasco. Um, so, mm. but when it's as far as opening a bigger brewery and trying to shoot for distribution, I mean a lot of these big boys, you know the Bud Houses, the Miller Houses, they're not taking on new people. Yeah. And you know if you can't get distribution, you don't have the avenue because unfortunately we live in a state where it's a mandatory three tier system. As fucked as it is, <gasps> you have to go through a distributor. Naughty so, words. What? Yeah. It's gonna it's Naughty gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. Naughty I promise. Words. Especially if we're talking about distribution. Yeah. Yeah. You're just gonna hear a whole so, F bomb tirade. So um, we had a viewer, Paul, who said he looks forward to your guys' Oktoberfest every year. And then oh, yeah. I think Chris in Dallas said that he's tuning in. I don't know if that's a friend of yours, but hi, Chris. No. No. Thanks for hi, tuning Dallas. in into Dallas. Chris. Yeah. Chris. And speaking of Oktoberfest, I went to the one last year, and it was a lot of fun. You guys are planning to do the same thing yes, we are. this year? Uh, it's going to be a little bit more scaled back. Uh, we're still going to do the live. No fog machine this time. Yeah, no fog machine. Uh, cut that out. Yes. But you're still going to have the... Um, the Stein holding. The Stein holding. Absolutely. Oh, oh chicken, man. be careful. Come on, man. Well, we'd love to come out and if we can come oh. out and help you guys in any way, we'd Absolutely. love to do that. Cool. And uh, Ricky Burt's checking in from oh from Burt's Farm, yes. Mm -hmm. And Chris Barrett also said hello. So we got lots of people watching. Hello, Chris. Yay! <laughs> so um, you guys have um, the one here in Pasco, <coughs> and the other one is in Pinellas. Clearwater yeah, on uh, 49th right? Street. Yep. Clearwater. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, I'll Clear call it industrial Clearwater. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's closer to the. To the bridge over to Tampa, and then it's the beaches. Oh, really? So, like Forty uh, Ninth. Okay, there we yeah. go. Look, and a rainbow right over top. Isn't oh, that beautiful? Isn't that cute? Oh. There you go. <laughs> See, look, that's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Big <laughs> storm. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> Where did that come from? I was gonna say, who took that picture? Yeah. I've never I have seen no that. idea. <laughs> We're so on top of our yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a gay guy took that picture. What? <laughs> the rainbow. Oh, hey, man, looks great. Alternative come on now. person. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, no, there's nothing wrong with that. So Steve is your taproom manager mm -hmm. in Pasco. Here in Pasco, yeah. And everybody that goes there likes Steve. We kind of like pick on him. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 not, he's not bad. Oh. So what's, what's happening there right now? God. If he's not there managing the taproom, it's, it's chaos. It is chaos right now. It's yeah. free beer it's for everybody. Get out of here. No. Let's go drink some free beer. No, no. no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really cool. We actually have a great team of bartenders mm -hmm. that have been with us for a long yes. time. And, and they really... Um, really connect with everybody that comes in. They yep. do a great job. So I, I kind of inst installed into all of the bartenders that for every person that walks through the door, they need to feel like they just walked into their living room. So by knowing them yeah. by name and remembering what they drink and just we having those casual conversations, it makes it very relaxed and enjoyable. And that's, yeah, it's, that's what we're about is we're about creating the environment that just makes yeah. you feel relaxed. But you have to be careful because there's some people that as soon as they walk in through the living room, off goes the pants. <laughs> you got to like... We got a room for that. We do have a room for that now. <laughs> yeah, it's a separate room. Evan Unger also says hello. Can we make a for that? No yeah, pants room? Hi, Evan. What's up, Evan? Evan from Ronald McDonald House. Yeah. He's one of the I runners. Remember, remember Evan, of course. Yeah. No, we, we were at Big Storm last night, and it was so funny. We were sitting there, and we do the trivia. We try and go every Thursday, and we sit in our little, our little room, <laughs> room, and we were laughing because they did the... Um, I think it's the face-off between a team <laughs> and, the and, the, and the bar staff. And we were like, we never get picked. And sure enough, now, they picked us. Now, my, now mind you, when, when these guys <clears throat> come and play trivia, uh, they're usually always winning first place. Uh, you guys are like a group of very smart people. I, like some of the things you guys know, I'm like, we have you fooled. <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly, 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 I'm not involved in this. No. Situation. But uh, the, the, the question that was asked last night is, uh, 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 what was it? In the millions by one tenth, uh, what is the population yeah. of Florida? Don't rub it in. Oh, we 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 came up with twenty. I think it was twenty three point one something. We said twenty. And he point said twenty one. point one, and they were off by like three. It's actually twenty point something. Yeah, it's so. twenty point six something. 
Nerds! So, yeah. Wow. But, so uh, we have a question from one of our guests. There, they have a question about steam beer. Steam beer. Steam beer. Steam yeah. Steam beer. The, the Cal- I've never heard the, of that. The uh, yeah. the California Common, as it's more no, widely known. Oh really? Known as. So there is a steam. That is that is a thing. Uh, okay. Yep. What well, does that What does that mean? It's What's it's sort of a pre pre prohibition style beer. Um, it is a lager, but it uses an ale yeast strain, uh, so it goes through that long period of rest like lagers do. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, it's it's an old style. Uh, really, the thing that made it so unique was it used like an open air fermentation style. But that's not really used so much anymore. Wow, so, interesting yeah. question. So thank you, Anne Marie, for that Got great question. More? No, I'm kidding. So, right. <laughs> so you guys haven't squared off yet. So you're gonna have to set up your. All your right. cups and How do can we can we do like close quarters right here? Where's your, where's he your is. Mug? over here. So he's, what's in that, he's smarter uh, what's than in that he looks. Bottle with cork on it over here. Oh, what, this little guy. Oh, yeah. this little guy. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this little guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, is that we'll is that the that five year anniversary? We're, we're, we're gonna get to that. Yeah, Yay. that's our five year anniversary. Yay. All right. That was really good. <laughs> Game on. Chicken will cluck for beer. Nice. All right. All right. All right. I'm not left handed. I'm at I'm at a disadvantage here. You can bend down, and I did. All right. All right. Do whatever you got to do, Steve. Do what you got to do. One. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I know, it's, it's, but you're saying that you can flip it over and you, land you, on it, you, right? te- you technically can, but your odds of actually hitting it are not very okay. good. So you, you lost, like so you have there. to drink. Far, it's pretty far apart. Way to go. First, tr- first try, and he did it. Okay. Did he win? So you oh. have to drink twice. That's why he's the boss. Right. That's yeah, exactly. exactly. So he's the brains of the operation. All right. Cheers, cool. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Kayla says Steve is the best, and um, she's drinking Palm Bender. I Thanks, guess. Thanks, Kayla. Ah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. So, what do you guys have uh, coming up at uh, Big Storm? Any any outrageously special events or? Well, they just had their um, five-year anniversary. They did. So they, that they was did. in the past. They yeah. just had. I'm talking about the future. In the, in the future. future. I'm not interested in the past, Christina. Okay. I want to know what's going on in the future. <laughs> well, we got um, we have beer brunch cool. first. Yes, uh, yeah. September 3rd. Uh, so if you're not familiar uh, with our Pinellas location, uh, one of the things that's really cool about the two different tap rooms is we are two completely different environments. So they have a, uh, a permanent food truck that sits out front there that is theirs. Uh, so they definitely have a little bit more of like the restaurant vibe, but we have a really talented chef that works out of there. The guy makes absolutely phenomenal food out of. What kind of food this, does he make? I mean, it, he does a lot of the stuff with our own beers, which is really cool. He does these. Uh, yeah. He does these sliders with like caramelized with, onions and blue with cheese beer. with our oats and hearts. Nice. nice, It's Delicious. so good. Uh, so we're going to be doing our first uh, beer brunch that will be Ooh. at the brewery. That's going to be uh, Sunday, September third. Yep. Oh wait a minute! I put it on my calendar. So yeah, that'll be uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's twenty five bucks per person. It's a five course buffet style, uh, and you Ooh. get a free beer with it. Jeez. Nice. So, yeah. so um, one of our viewers, Chris, said that he absolutely loved the um, David Hasselhoff pose of the chicken laying. I yeah. don't know if you yes. saw it, but the chicken was, was the, doing. It was the classic Hoff pose. Oh yeah. boy, I don't know. Nobody needs to see that. Well. <laughs> Chickens, chickens are sexy. Everybody knows that. No. Chickens are sexy, <laughs> chickens are sexy when they're fried. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Fried. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, which was your first beer that you guys brewed in the brewery here in Pasco? Which was the very oh. first one? It was uh, Wave Maker. Wave Maker. Yep. Now, all your yep. beers are named after, like, storms or yeah, we try, we try weather to have makers. The, yeah, we try to have the theme. Um, we, we really tried hard to avoid, like, kind of dumb obvious things mm-hmm. like rainy day ipa or something right. you know um you know the, definitely the beginning we were trying to think a little bit more creatively more deeper um you so should, that's where we came you should do maker. like a stout or something like a really dark beer and call it al roker oh <laughs> he's a yeah. weatherman he's black I we think should do we should make one that's really heavy first there you go. Oh, he went there. Yeah. He went or there. First, we serve it like a mug, and then we serve it like a pills. Exactly. <laughs> um, we had another um, uh, question from somebody watching. They wanted to know, and I think her name was Tanya. I'm married and I'm No, no, no. <laughs> huh? She wanted to know if there were, she loves Big Storm, if there's any plans for a Big Storm in Wesley Chapel. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, we, we're, we're always looking. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of fun in our tap rooms. One thing that we've learned having multiple tap rooms that we can pull it off so we're not, like, scared of it anymore. Uh, we're, we're talking to a handful of uh, places, so let's say maybe. 
So which which no. which brewery is open first, the Clearwater location or Pasco? Pasco. How long Pasco's did you have Pasco open before you opened Clearwater? Uh, three. So uh, Pinellas opened the beginning of last year. So four years. Yeah, three 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 and a half four. three and three and a half four years. Excuse yeah. me. And then we actually moved. So <laughs> we're me. the original location moved to where we are now. So and we, and I want to yeah. ask you about that, but yeah. we have to take a break. I mean, yeah. it's flying by. These guys are really interesting. We don't have to do. We don't have to take a yeah, break. Yeah, we do. We, we have, have to take to a break, anything. and then we'll be back, and we're gonna delve into that question a little bit deeper. Cool. Ah, uh, breaks. Nobody likes. <laughs> yeah. Here we go again. We're back with Big Storm, and when we left, we were we were on a good question. But I want to say hi to RJ. He's Backpack Social. We've had him on oh, our yeah. show. Sure. He's actually watching from Africa. Really? Yes. Sweet. Africa. He's traveling in. Remember, he was here and he said he was going on a trip yes, and doing different. some. Yeah. So he's in Africa and he's watching. No. So no thank you, RJ. RJ, no safaris. Don't do it. Oh, we definitely want him to come the back. Lions will jump into the <laughs> jeep and eat you. So I've seen oh, it. No. Oh no, no, we TV. don't want that. So yeah. um, I did have a question and I wrote this one down because it was very important. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> chicken laid an chicken egg. Chicken laid an egg. I always thought wow. it was a male. Obviously <laughs> not. I, baby chicken. I wasn't okay. ready for that. <laughs> so um, we remember the small setup on the opposite side of the business park mm -hmm. that you're in. It was a fun and happening after workplace with food trucks and a brew house atmosphere. Um, why did you move? Um, we ran out of space. I mean, we... So uh, the things that we did out of that 2,500 square foot warehouse were pretty <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <insane. laughs> uh, He's dropping f bombs yeah. like crazy. So um, we uh, before that was before our we opened our Pinellas facility. So the thought process was we we're kind of bursting the seams and we're like we really need a production facility, uh, but we also want to have our presence here in Pasco. So uh, we found a great site that was more central to Tampa Bay for us for the production facility because. I mean, let's face it, it was, it was fun being, you know, it, it's still fun being part of the Pasco community. Mm -hmm. um, but we're kind of sick of, like, being passed by because we were up in Pasco. Like, people in Pinellas and Hillsborough think that we're, like, in Alaska. Yeah. So right. yeah. we literally drew a circle around mm -hmm. Tampa Bay and picked, like, the center. And we're, like, the closest building we can find in the center. And that's where it was. So that was for legitimacy. And also, it was a good shipping vein for us. We can get to our major distributors in, like, 10, 15 minutes. Yes. So that worked out good. Yep. But then... Um, you know, we were trying to distribute out of that old location, and I mean, yeah. we were like, I can't even tell you, like, we were blowing fuses, we were like electrical strain, it was a lot of stuff. So I this kind of like so, helped you, yeah, you know, with the distribution and absolutely. And, and I mean, there's still people that talk about it, like the old couch and that, and that, you know, yeah. that crappy warehouse and everything. Um, but you know, it, it just needed. We we wanted to do more. We wanted to do so much more. So our our new place in Pasco is eight thousand square feet. Nice. So it's a lot more room. And it's air conditioned. Yes. So yes. Air conditioned. That's yes. important for us. Yeah, the yeah. other one, I remember sitting there with the doors I'm open. I'm telling you, I would sit there, and we were like second year, and I'm back there still brewing at this point. <laughs> and I would see people sitting there sweating, drinking beer. I'm like, why are these people doing this? <laughs> but like, they, I would question it. I'd be like, thank you, but why are you doing yeah, this Yeah, exactly. Right now? So um, in the new place, what do you estimate that your number of pints you pour for customers a week is, and how mm. does that compare to when you were in the smaller, smaller brewery? Oh, oh man, geez. that's a, that's a tough question. Is that a thing? The brewery, do you count pints? Uh, we we do. Well, well, I mean, we don't. We our system we, sees it. Yeah. We don't really look at it that way. Yeah. We look a lot in barrels because so that's our like our our. Okay, uh, then do it by barrels. Like a week. Yeah. Mm, probably about two barrels a week, at least. No, okay. more than that. Uh, I said at least. Yeah, no, at it's, least. More, it's much more than that. We, have, we no, do have slow weeks. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I know. but I, So you've definitely seen an increase absolutely. since you've moved from the smaller. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, dollar-wise, when we were looking at it, I mean, we're probably quadruple over what we were yeah. in wow. the old place. Wow, so, that's good. That's yeah. great. Yeah, volume-wise, it's kind of like, it's up <clears> and down, but no, I mean, yeah, we were doing, I, we'd be doing like uh Fifteen barrels or so in a month in the old. So place. you have, so you have Pasco, so, you have Clearwater. Yeah. Now you're, you have, uh, you have um, uh, investment into Fat Point. Yeah, and Punta Gorda. Yep. And you're looking to open the third uh, mm -hmm. Big Storm location. Yep, we're working on it. We're open to, to have at least something announced by the end of this year. Nice. Yeah. So that's pretty exciting. So yeah. You, in, at that point, I think you'll be the first uh, brewery in the Tampa Bay area with. 
three locations. Yeah. I don't yeah, think I anybody so. has more than two Yay. at this point, right? Yeah. That's great. Yeah. And at that, so. you're what? There's, we were talking about this before uh, during the break, that mm -hmm. there's, what, three breweries that have multiple locations, maybe? Yeah. Including think, you? Uh, yeah, I think it's us, Tampa Brewing, and, and, and uh, the, the, house, the House of Beers. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then I guess Cigar City, you can tell, like, count their cider yeah. meat. We'll meat. count them. Yeah. yeah. So... So you, you want to be the king of craft beer in the Tampa yeah. area, huh? <laughs> you know, it's like, like a really, tycoon. It's like it's da, 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 da. He's like the crazy yeah. Monopoly man. Yeah, no, no, no. Please don't do that. I don't need, <laughs> I don't need that juju on me. I already have enough of that. No. It's, it's really, you know, we just, um, we have so much fun in the tap rooms. We have multiple. We're confident with what we're doing right now. We have a great team. Um, we love providing that experience because we just feel like our experience is just a very laid back. Steve kind of talked about it. It's educational. It's living room. You know, like yep. we just, we're just making it's, beer it's for everybody that, to drink. To me, that's kind of the vibe yeah. at the majority of of all breweries, and and it's it's just a great thing because it's a good atmosphere. It's mm -hmm. it's it's family friendly usually. Absolutely. You know, p people bring dogs. There's always dogs at breweries, which you know I'm a big dog person. Um, it's always just a great place to hang out. You mm -hmm. know, and then you know you get the food trucks and things that coming in and fun little special events and, and, yep. and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and always, always a good time. If you haven't They've been there recently, um, we actually have like a kind of a new section, if you will. Um, we're calling it the dock. Um, it's essentially part of our loading dock area that we've turned into a game room. Yeah. Really? So we've got three TVs back there. We've got a shuffleboard table. We've got cornhole boards. We've got uh, dart boards up mm -hmm. there. Cool. No, the last time I was there was that, um, that, that beer release. For yeah, the Havana After yeah. Midnight. Havana, yep. Yeah, so, but we're going there tonight, I think, after the show, yep. right? Yeah, yep. we are. Cool. Nice, nice. We are. Now, what about this this anniversary beer here? Yes. Looks like it's getting oh, yeah. warm. I oh, feel yeah. like this is crack it open. Yeah, it's actually crack gets open. a little bit better. My glass is empty. Actually. Warmer, so, uh, oh, Steve, you want to go for it? Yeah. I suppose. So yeah. we yeah. we cork, were corks scare me though. We were there um, when you guys had um, a bottle share in June, and I gotta say, since I've been here, I've been to a few different places, and I've had Cuban sandwiches, Steve. I think you have a second calling because Steve makes some pretty killer Cuban sandwiches. How is he, how, what do you mean? How, how is he okay. making Cuban sandwiches? So, <laughs> you can tell him the secret? That, it's the secret sauce. You, so you, you, <laughs> make, you make... I don't uh, want to know what your secret okay. sauce is. So, so Just let me so say that right now. So basically yeah. what we're doing, so we're, we're, trying, we're getting to the point where we want to do some limited food up, up here. And um, how we're doing that, same way in the beer brunch, is basically we're kind of like catering it mm -hmm. from our Pinellas facility. So what we did was we had this concept with beer releases, and we're like, well, let's just do sandwiches where we bought a press, and basically our chef put together these sandwiches. We <sighs> shipped them up the here, time. and oh, uh, Steve, just, Steve just went and put it on the press and Flip made flash. it happen. So Yep, three, three minutes. That's how long it takes. Mm -hmm. and, and he was good. I mean, he wore his, you know... The, the blue gloves and was all sanitary. Very, and very professional. Like, very yeah. professional. Awesome. And it was, they were really good sandwiches. Yeah. Nothing like a good Cuban yeah, sandwich. And those, those were all made by our chef in the Pinellas location. Oh, so you didn't make them? Nope, I did no. not make them. He you just warmed them he up. He made those. He oh. was, he was, I was giving you way too yeah, much no, no, credit. No, no, no. Yeah. No. I mean, it, it takes a lot of upper body strength <laughs> oh, to hit okay. that press, though. So, I mean, I'll give him know. that. Okay. So this, this is, is the, the five-year five year storm? Five-year storm. So this is a bourbon barrel-aged imperial red rye. The smell is outrageous. Fantastic. Yes. Really good. And you only brought one bottle? I only brought one. You all are not getting you, any. You, you, you all only Just get, so you know. <laughs> you only get samples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is, uh, we were, we we're really proud of this. Very, one. very happy. We brewed a lot of beers over the past five years. And, oh, man. I mean, we, we're pretty, uh, you know, we, we stay pretty modest about our our pro portfolio. I mean, we'll, yeah. we'll say like, yeah, this is, this is okay. You know, it did good, but. I mean, I'd put this in our top five. Yeah. I really would. It, it's, it's delicious. Yeah. I, I typically don't love a lot of the barrel-aged stuff because the, 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 that, that, that flavor that comes from, from the barrel, yeah. in some of them, it's so overpowering. I don't love it. And I, I, I do feel like if I drank it more, it's, I have a feeling it's more of an acquired taste. Yeah. But this is actually pretty light on yeah. that. It's not as rich. Yeah. And it's really easy drinking. It's, it's, he did a great delicious. job of just balancing it. Yeah, I think super. I think what's really cool about it is the 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 rye with that that bourbon barrel. I think they just play so it, well. They, they do work really well together. Perfect amount of alcohol, really, because yep. it's like it's what's, not. What's uh, the gravity on nine point three percent? Nine point three, really? Ooh. Yeah. God damn, it's, it's good. Tr it's tricky, right? I mean, yeah. it doesn't really drink booze. No, it's, it's like not right, it's really it's good. Like right in that middle where it's like it's it's really smooth. You can even like balance is is perfect. That's are trying to chug this to get there. So where are you guys from, by the way? <laughs> you want to start? You go for it, man. All right. 
Uh, so I am originally from a small place in northern Indiana. You may have heard of South Bend, Indiana. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I lived there for 31 years of my life, and uh, an opportunity came up to join this team down here. So I took a chance and packed up my life and moved to Florida. Were you in the beer <laughs> industry up there? Or? Yeah. Um, it's actually kind of funny. Before I got into the whole craft beer thing, I was uh, actually working on cars for a living. Nice. Uh, and I kind of stumbled into it. Um, there was another uh, brewery up in my hometown. Give a shout out to Evil Check Brewery if anyone's watching. What are they called? Evil Check Brewery. Evil Check? Yep. What kind the, of cool name is that? Yeah, the, the owner is from the Czech Republic. Uh, oh, okay. His, uh, his grandmother was German, and that was actually a nickname that uh, she gave him was an evil, a little evil Czech. That's awesome. <laughs> but, uh, nice. So, yeah, I, I kind of went in there. I had a friend that was a general manager at the time. And uh, I said, I need, to, I need to work a job on the weekends just to make extra money. And he said, the only thing I have available is a busboy. I said, I'll take it. So I started off as a busboy. And by the time I left there, I was the assistant general manager. I worked my way up. I gotten, you know, started doing brew-alongs with the head brewer and really just kind of put my nose to the ground and learned everything I could about this. And turns out it was what I was meant to do. <laughs> Did you do any home brewing yourself? A little here and there back in the day, but not so much anymore. Uh, I, I love what I do. I go to work every day, and I'm like, wow, I, I can't believe I get to do this for a living. This is awesome. Nice. So, and that, you know what? Great. And then when you can do that, it's not really a job. No. No. So we have to say hi to um, Thumper. Thumper. Thumper, uh, yeah. Thumper's always <laughs> out at um, Big Storm. Yes. Him yep. and his wife, they drive motorcycles, so we want to say yes. hi to them. They were really excited. They Robert wanted to come Thumper. because you guys were on the show, but yes. they, they couldn't mm. make Thank it. Thank you, guys, so. if you can hear me. No, they can hear you. Okay. <laughs> what, what, about you what about you, Mike? Where are you from? I am originally from Buffalo, New York. Oh, okay. Uh, I moved down here when I was very young. I was, uh, New York! Woo yeah, well, not, I mean, we're pretty much Canadian. We're pretty, yeah. Yeah, pretty know, much so, Canadian. You know, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Canadian. Was, where in Canada are you from? Um, Nova Scotia. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, you're over, yeah. Okay. yeah you're, you're so I there. totally forgot so. here, I was being all crazy. Um, beer and Sunshine shirts. Oh, uh, thank for you. For you guys. Oh, wow, all right, cool. Sweet. There you go. Swag. It's our um, new tradition, I think. Well, yeah. I guess, to... guess get shirts from now yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, Just special I moved down when I was young. I grew up in uh, in Palm Harbor, really. Um, went to went to school at USF. And mm -hmm. After I graduated USF, I moved up here to Pasco. I've been here ever since. Cool. So, what did you so, do before beer? I was a financial advisor. Yeah, and so I, I got my degree in finance and uh, jumped around in different facets of it. Mm -hmm. I never. I think I just uh, followed what uh, society tells you to do, which is go get a degree and go mm -hmm. make money. Yeah, sure. Right. And all along the way, I really, even in college, I had the passion for beer. Uh, USF's right by the Yingling um, Brewery. I think everybody Canada. in college has a passion for beer. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> I would, I would uh, you know, what really got me into this was going to that, going to the Yingling Brewery tour, and uh, you know, I go there very often. Lee like, was <clears> the tour; it was so awesome. And you know, back then the tour was like really walking through the brewery and just watching it. The bottling line and the, and the keg robot. I'm like, shit, man, this and is awesome. Let me ask you, though, because so. you, you, cause you weren't really a home brewer. You ended up, you said you worked for a brewery for a little while, right? Uh, right, in Dunedin or something? Yeah, yeah, Dunedin, Dunedin, Dunedin Brewery. Dunedin so brewery, yeah. what made you go from just working at a brewery to all of a sudden thinking, I can take over the world. I can just, <laughs> I can have. It didn't work that I way. I can become <laughs> a beer mogul. It, it wasn't like that. It was, uh, what made you think you could start a brewery and it would be oh, no, thank you know, greatly uh, awesome successful? But the guests might want one. Because yeah. if, you, if you were making beer and you're like, my beer is the shit, yeah. and I'm going to start a brewery, people are going to love it, I'm going to yeah, be successful. It, it wasn't Without that, that at all. Oh, no, I'm good, man. Thank you. <sighs> no. God, I'm, no, no, no. Beer yeah, first. Beer first. Beer first. Maybe after. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't have any of that. Um, it wasn't... I was, uh, I like to say I was uh, hoodwinked into doing this. Um, so I started the brewery with, uh, with a longtime friend, and um, basically they were like, you know, you're getting so much good experience, and we're, we're all in the beer, you know, this time. Uh, I don't know if you know a little place called the Brass Tap, but yeah. they, start, yeah, they, yeah. they started in Weston Chapel in, mm -hmm. in Wiregrass. So we would frequent there when that was the only Brass Tap, and uh, we were really into all, trying all the different things, and they're like, man, we love this stuff. You have experience in this. You know, I think we can do this. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I, I'm part-time working at a brewery. I'm watching. It sucks. Like, it's not what you think it is, you know. I'm not going to say just home brewers, but everybody has a perception of what it is. Yeah. It's, it's definitely not that. Um, and really, I think it just got to the point at, um, at the Dean Brewery where I kind of was a personality conflict. And, um, you know, I was like, you know what? All right, fuck it. I think I can do it. <laughs> 
this, so, that's this, well, this, hey, on, this on that note, on that yeah, note that, we gotta yes, go to we go and take yeah, a break, yeah, but we'll, we'll, be, right we'll be back, and we're going to wash his mouth out with soap during the commercial, and then we'll be back. He's fine. This is a beer show. And Paul's on all the sales. We're back. We're back. Yeah. Bobby Sorry, we were, said, we were still we were still talking yeah. uh, during the break here. Bobby says he loves he loves Big stuff. Storm. Thank you, Thank Bobby, you Bobby. Loves Big Good. Storm. Come on up, Bobby. We're gonna be there drinking yeah. in a little yep. while. So I'm we'll gonna do beer. my little. What's happening? What's um, happening? Yes. Tomorrow is the Sunshine Hops tour. Hell and Blazes Brewing in Melbourne is having a uh, a tour. And it's your chance to meet Ricky Burtz Jr., who also said hi to us today. He is the pioneer of growing hops in Florida. And if you can't make it to see him there on August 19th, he is going to be at Three Daughters from 1 to 5. And also, you and I are going to the Florida Brewers Guild Conference Next week? Next week, yeah. Wednesday, right? Yeah, and the week after that, we're going to be at Mastery's for their Woodstock, where you can get one of these. Yes. Mastery's and Beer and Sunshine shirts, and we will be and there. And it's a 70s theme party, 70s. Right? We 70s will have theme. our tie-dye. You're going to have your Who knows? afro and I, I, well, polyester I, suit. I haven't figured out yet, but it and will be, I'll be 70s shoes. appropriate. So, um, <clears throat> Mike, this is a first for us. We've never done this before. Oh, wow. You have broken a record by dropping the F-bomb three times. <laughs> so you have man. won the F-bomb, yeah, most, most ever F-bomb award. Thank you. It's a toilet thank seat. It's a toilet seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That, that is, that's fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. So, so, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right yeah. here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's fitting. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Perfect. Come on. <laughs> Hey, it wasn't forced. You know, it works better if you wear it around your neck. Yeah, for the that's going to weird me out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's the brown stains on the underside of that seat, did it? Oh, oh no, no, no. No brown stains. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh that's nasty. Oh, uh, well, hey. When you got to go, you got to go. It is a bomb, you know. <laughs> Explosion. It happens. Mm -hmm. It does. So we're going to head down to Big Storm yeah. after the show. <clears throat> so if there's viewers out there who want to come down and come That's and right. say hi come to say these hello. nice guys. Yeah. Come hang out. Say hi to us. Let's Studio party. audience is going to go down. Yeah, let's throw the F-bomb around a few <laughs> yeah, times. And yeah, but you crazy. guys are paying your own beer tab. We can drop bring the, the donuts. We yeah, bring the donuts. Yeah, <laughs> just bring the donuts. We're fine. Steve's What's that? Buying. Oh, Steve's buying. No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have to pay us back for beating us at trivia last night. So oh, Steve's man. buying. <laughs> uh. mm. Well, so I do have a question for you, because seeing how we have the founder here. So if you have any customers tonight that come down and say, "We saw you guys on Beer and Sunshine," are you guys prepared to give them some kind of deal on their? On their beer tonight? One free sure. beer? One free yeah, beer? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. One free absolutely. beer. If, on if people go down and say, right. I saw you guys on Beer and Sunshine, you'll give them a free beer. That's, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. And, and awesome. most, people, most people don't know this, but if you wear a Beer and Sunshine shirt and walk into any brewery in the Tampa Bay area, they will probably just give you free stuff. Yep. Yeah. Happens to me all the time. Yeah. Coasters. <laughs> so give you coasters, mostly. Coasters. If you go to the bathroom, you get to use the toilet paper for free. Yes. Yep. Paper towels. Yep. Um, I give really good high fives. Yeah. Great high fives. Let me see. That kind of stuff. That was you. You that stalled. Was... Elbow. You got to watch the elbow. That's the secret. You got to watch the elbow. Okay. Oh. See? Oh. That see? was pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Learn something new every day. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does give pretty good high fives. <clears throat> so if you guys go down to Big Storm, see Steve and get a high five. Free high fives right here. Nice. So what what uh, at Big Storm do you guys have certain things on certain nights like uh, you know like you have a trivia night what yes. night is that That's uh, trivia is every Thursday Thursday um, we're also uh, just launched a what we're calling the Brewers Bingo uh, we're this is a lot of fun actually it is it's Brewers a lot of fun. Bingo yeah nice. uh, but that is every other Tuesday so our uh, we just had it this past Tuesday so it'll be two weeks. Uh, but yeah, it's six yeah. rounds. You Excuse can win me. free beer, free merch. Uh, grand prize, the very last round, is a $25 gift card at Big Storm. Nice. So you, everybody, you play you for free. Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone plays for it's free. It's a hangout. Yeah. And, and yeah. we try and get our brewers to call the bingo because we want to try and connect the brewers with the community. Mm -hmm. And I just think it's fun. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, we've been doing it for, what, a couple months now? Uh, going on two months now. And you mm -hmm. had you had at that, um, that, uh, that Havana 
Havana yeah, after Havana midnight. midnight. Havana, at that release party, you guys had a uh, Corey Corey Cottrell. Yes, mm-hmm. Corey was playing there. That's a, yeah, that's how we we met Corey. Yep. We actually because of that night, uh, we became friends with him. Christine and I. He does he does a, a Facebook show. Oh. He has a couple of different shows: uh, Goals and Gratitude, and uh, what's his other one? Um, G and G Fit. So yeah, so he does yeah, a few he does things. A few he does, shows, like, yeah. his Facebook shows, or whatever. Coffee and, and, on the uh, dock. Coffee on the dock. That's yeah. it. So we've done that several times. That was a, 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 a an awesome connection. Yeah, He's a great guy. But, so do um, you guys have live bands yeah. every yep. so often? Every Friday and Saturday we have live music. <clears throat> also on Fridays and Saturdays we have food, uh, a food truck that will come out and serve food. Nice. Uh, food trucks are from six to ten. Live music is seven to ten. Sweet. And kids drink for free every yes. seven days a week. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> water. Yeah, yeah kids drink water, water for free. Water. Yeah. <laughs> so, and are you guys dog friendly? Yes. Uh, I'm in the in the dock area. In the dock area. Okay. Right now. Just and because there are a lot yeah. of people that yeah. you know like taking their dogs out with them. So. Right. And we're kind of we're working on some outdoor seating right now too. Oh, so, that'd be good. Um, yep. Yeah, we're hoping to kind of rectify that a little bit. So. Yeah. <laughs> Super chicken. Super chicken. No. <laughs> you're not chicken friendly, though, are you? Please say you're this not guy? chicken friendly. No, no definitely not. <laughs> no. No chicken's a lot. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, he's, now he's upset. <laughs> After he gave you that award, too. <laughs> oh. So, um, you guys oh. have. <laughs> you guys have the. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna leave a mark. <laughs> Sorry. Ouch. So you the guys have the um, into a table. you have the brunch on um, the third of September. Yep, that'll be so the first one. Is that that's the first one? Are you yes. guys gonna do that like every month after that? Or the, the goal is it'll be the first Sunday of every month. First Sunday of every month, and you guys have the bottle share, and it's yes. the third Wednesday of every month. Every third Wednesday of the month. How do you guys keep track of everything that you guys are doing? Calendars. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. It's all right there. Right. <laughs> right Steel there. trap. <laughs> Just say, hey, Google, set yeah. reminders. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. No, um, October is Oktoberfest, and mm-hmm. um, Beer and Sunshine would love to come down and, and be a part of that, and maybe we'll I, get I, some. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this much about our Oktoberfest. Uh, it's going to be September 9th this year. Uh, we're going to be launching something this year. But that that's we, not even in October. Well, technically in Germany, though, it starts the following week. Okay. So. <laughs> this is, hey, you want to talk about the business side of it? This is such... <laughs> This was such a debate. Yes, it was. In, 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 in management and leadership on when to have Oktoberfest. We were completely split down the middle. People were like, have Oktoberfest. Everybody thinks October, Oktoberfest. And then some of us were like, well, real Oktoberfest is actually September. Um, it, was, it, was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty funny debate. But then debate. you'll get the jump on everybody because yeah, everybody else is doing stuff in October. Yes. Yeah, I think we just wanted to just kind of... Get it out there yep. and, and be different. Have a, have a good time. Yeah, Michael Tompkins, so. who is uh, he was a guest on our show yeah. from Tonka's Tap House, yes. says hi. He's watching. Hi, Mike. We What's spent up, the Mike? evening with him the yep. other yes. the other evening, and uh, we saw Foreigner and Cheap Trick oh, and nice. uh, Jason Bonham. And what is that? Zombie, zombie chicken. Zombie chicken. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the idea. Mm-hmm. But uh, for this Oktoberfest, we're going to be launching a tournament-style life-size beer pong. It's going to be set up out in our parking lot. They're basically just a big, big trash cans. and a <laughs> Life-size dodge- beer pong? Really? And a, and a nice. dodgeball. And that's your ball. And they're going to be set up about 20 feet apart from each other. Oh, my God. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We don't I have like to drink it. out of the garbage can, no, though, no, do no, we? No, 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 no. No. no, no. <laughs> but, yeah, th- this is going to be a, uh, on a sign-up basis. So you want to get there early in the day, get signed up, all that fun stuff. Okay, so it's going to be like a weekend-long It's going to be one day. Oh, one day. One day only. A one-day tournament type thing? And yep. Is there a prize involved? Uh, we're still hammering out the details on what the prize will be, but it will be... It'll be quite, huge, quite lucrative. I recommend quite beer. Lu- I recommend beer as the prize. $1 billion. Dollars. No? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what would be... What, what, oh, my God. What would be a cool prize would be if they could be a brewer for a day. Really? Who would that be a prize or for? A, an assistant brewer for so the that, day. So they can feel horrible about themselves failing miserably at something that they don't know how to do. And then oh, the people that get to drink the beer also are <laughs> hating life because it's disgusting. No, but I mean, they don't That's brew. That's not a prize for you anybody. you know what I mean? They're like your assistant brewer for the day or something like that. That yeah, would be pretty it. cool. Yeah. How about you get, yeah. get to, let them clean what mop the floors? <laughs> Clean the oh, clean the bar or something. Uh, I like that. You like yeah. that? Uh, Congratulations, you won free labor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. That's that's. I think that's a great prize. Mm-hmm. 
teaches them a little work ethic and yeah. then, you know helps you guys out. <laughs> Makes him a better person. It doesn't kill you, makes Ke- you stronger. Keg kind of washer thing. for a day. Keg, keg washer, washer for a day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that. Sign me up. <laughs> I'm in. I'm a, lot of, a lot of the guys that, that have like been with us and started with us, that, that's kind of how they started. They yeah. came in as a volunteer keg washer. Then they worked their way up to the deck, and we've had people go out and, and work at other breweries. Yep. We have a kid, oh. a kid that I trained um, at the beginning. He, he's... Uh, one of the lead guys at Wicked Weed right now um, nice. in their barrel house, which is yep. really cool. I keep saying, hey, anytime you come back to Florida, he's like, <laughs> well, kind of like North Carolina. <laughs> we hate to cut you off, but we are actually done. Yeah. Out of time. So <laughs> let's go down to Big Storm. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Pound it. Yes. Pound yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Woo. We'll be back night. next Friday. Who's oh, yeah. our guest next week? <laughs> We're done. It's been a rough work day. Boss is busting your ass All you can think of is a nice cold glass of beer and sunshine Life can get you down But you can take all the lids Nothing in this world out of beer and sunshine Cannot fizz Oh, it's a beautiful day for some beach and tan Grab a few friends, put your feet in the sand With some beer and sunshine Oh, oh beer and sunshine Yeah Sunshine.